Hi guys, welcome to today's video. This is another one of my painting videos on this huge can, on this giant canvas. Um, this is part two, part two. So if you haven't watched part one, you should probably go and watch it because you're not gonna understand anything, like how to get it um, in the way. And I'm about to show you if you haven't watched part one because um, it, it has a giant impact on what you're going to be doing in the painting. Why am I being so serious? Okay, hi guys. I just got out of the shower. Um, as you can see, wet. That's why I'm wearing my unicorn robe. I'm going to probably sweat to death in it. That's the only first 50 seconds of today's video. Okay, so I'm going to try to figure out how to do the camera thing because I need to see the blue now. And that's a little bit harder. Okay, there we go. You can kind of see it. Um, but you're just kind of listening to me talk and how um, to do this painting. Because that's also helpful. So all you're doing pretty much is, um, I did the blue outline on mine, is um, you need to fill in the blue section. You guys doing it on the smaller canvas are probably speeding ahead. And I'm just like slowly trailing behind because <laughs> this does take a lot my last video was like 30 minutes long part one <sighs> let me get over here i don't think it's gonna mess me up that bad but i need to get over here let me move my paint over here too the purple layer oh my god it's so bad it's so ugly i'll fix it after i do the blue oh my black dry hopefully <laughs> imagine if i just got a big lot of black on my hands and then touch my painting that would be really bad I think I didn't shake the purple well, and that's why it's looking so patchy like this. Which is really ugly and disgusting looking. So I'm gonna fix it after I finish. Can you guys even see what I'm working on in the blue section? Why is there that big? Where is there that big of a gap? Wait. Oh, you guys are looking at, oh. I thought you guys were looking at the color. Oh, I get where, it, where it's looking now. And that's how you're able to see me. Okay, that makes more sense because I'm becoming blind with my camera. Okay, blue is not looking as patchy as purple, which is good. This is actually looking very nice today. Great job, blue, for being a good person and not making me angry. Okay, now let's fix purple. This purple did make me angry. So the paint's a little bit thicker because it's been out drying for like 30 minutes. It actually hasn't been 30 minutes. Probably like 15 maybe. I don't know. I don't know how long it takes me to shower. Sometimes it takes me 2 minutes. And sometimes it takes me 30 minutes. So honestly, I don't really know which one it is. Um... But I'm guessing 15 because I I'm not turning into a raisin. <laughs> Finishing up areas that look bad. make it blend a little bit the purple into the maroon kind of color do you think it's blended enough 
I don't think it is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little clean brush in, or I could use my hair. Since my hair is wet, I'm going to be a DIY girl and take the wetness from my hair. Don't worry, this brush is clean. Imagine if it wasn't. Oh, I was supposed to use this little maroon. Okay, whatever. <laughs> do what I was about to do and then I totally forgot about it but I'm actually gonna use my paint water instead of my hair um to wet my brush and try to blend it which is not working uh, okay oh it's becoming patchy oh no 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 and I just bent my brush Because I didn't think I was going to get this far. Oh boy. I almost stepped in a bucket of feet. We're going to do black and blue. Mix together in your paint pellets. Or in your imaginary paint pellets. Because some of you aren't actually painting. Some of you are just at home watching why I'm also at home. I don't have a real job like that. Uh, I need a bigger big boy brush here. Let me like, move my other brushes. I have a few more. And most of them are small but I found this one big one. Which is good. a little bit of a white, you can barely see it, but a bit of a white corner because um, I'm going to show you. So do your black and blue. I know it looks like black, but it's not the same. It looks the same on camera, but it's not. It's a little bit bluer um, or lighter. have to paint the edges. You guys might have done that. Or you're just doing it on a flat canvas or a piece of paper or whatever else you're trying to do this on. And you're painting on objects. Oh, imagine if I did this on a bag. <laughs> then I would have to make it on all the sides. Which if it was like a shopping, I don't, I don't know what, that was such a bad idea because you guys are probably going to be like, you're gonna be like, do it, Maya, do it, or you're gonna die. <laughs> you probably wouldn't say that. You would probably just be like, do it, Maya, just do it. You need to do it. But I don't really need to do it now. Because it's impossible, and I don't have that much time. Tomorrow, um, guys, I'm not gonna be making any videos because I have to go to my Nana's house. So she, um, is 
taking medicine and uh, I have to be with her because I'm a nine year old only and I don't have babysitters and she is the babysitter. So I'm going with her like usual. So sometimes I don't make videos like on Wednesdays. I never or at my nana's house. I could do a video at my nana's house. Actually, I probably will do that. Because she does have work supplies at her house. And I'm not saying a bunch of crayons. Like, she makes cards and stuff. Okay. This is looking amazing. And now we're going to blend this as well. We're going to take another brush. You guys are probably like, how do you have that many brushes? Don't ask. Collecting. That's how. Honestly, I don't actually know. <laughs> Ow! What the heck? Guys, can you get, like, um, splinters from metal? Because I'm pretty sure I just bought one. Well, I think I got it out. Okay, I'm good now. Darn it, darn it. Oh. oh my god. Oh, I'm trying to, I just got peanut on my hand. Oh boy, what was that noise? That was probably my fridge because it makes it. I think I just got paint on my robe. Okay, that's not good. See, it is. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. my water cup um don't worry about that but see it is darker um a little bit you easier to tell close up um but it is a little darker so i'm just finishing up the corner a little bit then blending it with the same brush which is super unprofessional but i'm also not a professional so it doesn't really matter <laughs> and everyone in the comments is going to be like you're a professional Look at this, or you're not going to say that. I don't know what you're going to say, honestly. I don't keep track of what you guys say in the comments. That would be weird if I did. Not like, this person says this. Saving information. <laughs> that would be really funny. If I did that. Okay, so guys. Um, now we're at the part where we're going to be uh, not doing the edges <laughs> right now. But let me just leap across my painting. Very dangerous decision. But you see how the paint kind of overlapped up in the sides and on the side as well? Um, if you look up close, they can see that. That's not pretty. So we're going to take a paintbrush and we're going to dip it in black paint. And this is gonna look like grass texture. Make sure it doesn't have that much paint on it. So like, I have a bowl and I'm just kind of painting on the side of the bowl. So it's not that much paint. And then we're just gonna kind of make it look like grass. See, so, so try to make it very detailed. And then you can also grab paint if you need to. I think I'm just gonna fix 
the color overlining right now, and then I'm gonna do the grass layers. Okay, Ooh, we're already at 15. This video is getting long, just like my other one. And then we're gonna do like, how I did it on the top. So we're just gonna go all the way down. I'll show you how to draw the trees. Don't worry, you're gonna learn how to draw everything. Or paint, actually. I should be saying paint, not draw, because we're not, there's no drawing utensils used for this. Okay, so after you do that, I've only done it on one side, um, but here, I'll show you how it looks on that one side that I did it. So, like, that looks like grass on my picture. We're going to do that on the other side. Whoa, boy. Okay, let me clean up the lines first. Oh, that's way too much. And we're also going to be cleaning up this area. This um, area is going to be straight because this will be the water. And we'll do a reflection as well. So just get a nice clean line across. As straight as possible because we're trying to make it look like water. And is water straight? Yes. Because there's going to be no waves in this water. I mean, you can make it have waves uh, if you want. I'm not going to be doing that online personally because I don't like the waves. I've tried it before. But a mini canvas, like a mini mini one. And it doesn't look good, so we're not going to be doing that. Okay, so that line is not straight, but it does look like water, so whatever. And I did step in dog pee, I figured it out. I did actually step in dog pee in my first video. And that was disgusting. Um, well, I cleaned it up though, so we're good now. No more dog pee on the ground. I can't believe Addy did that. Not Andrea, but other Addy. I'm just trying to get, and now I did it on both sides. Um, I'm just covering little specks of um, white shining through because you know sometimes when you're painting on a canvas, the little bumps on the canvases, um, you can't get into the cracks fully. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm cleaning those up. Okay, and then we're gonna do the shine, which, okay, get your paint palette with all your beautiful colors. Because, get a detail brush, or as little of a brush as you can get. Like, that's pretty little. This is my finger touching it. And then, so you kind of just go like this. I'm scared to mess this up, because I have messed this up before. I'm kind of just like, you can't really see it, but it does make a difference. I'm telling you, it does lighten the page. Oh, oh my god, that's literally gone. But you kind of just like. And then just add colors on the side. Just do a little bit.
And then you can also do red as well, just a little bit. Oops, just dab. Dab the red in, don't do too heavy on red. Because in a real sunset, I'm not saying I watch sunsets very often. I actually never watch them. Only when I go to the beach, and that's why I know what they look like. Water next to them. It's not really, the red's not really showing that much, and definitely not the maroon color. The maroon color is never showing. I've never seen a single sunset with the maroon color showing on the water. Not my entire life. Not even a picture of it looking like that. So that's why we're not going to do that. So we're just going to do this and we're trying to make it look realistic. Or if you have a professional dabbing tool and not your fingers, fingers are the free way. So like that kind of, it looks better close up here. So let me show you it up close. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this, but I'll show you at the end, but we're not done yet, so. <laughs> Recording. Intruder. Okay, and then we're going to need another detail brush. A little detail brush. I promise it's clean. It just got dyed. That color, look, if my finger is touching it, it's, well, my finger's not blue, so. And then we're going to dip it in our black. And then we're going to draw a line. Can you see it? Okay. A line. And then we're going to do a little bit up here. So just like that. And then we're going to get bigger as we go down. Oops, wrong one. Your paper writing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Grabbing more extra paint. Need a few refills. One paint. I'm doing this one. How did I do this so badly? I'll do a part three when I get back after I fix this, cause I, um, this is not good. This is not a good ending. I wanted to end it at two parts, but I can't. Okay, so see you guys tomorrow when I finish it. Bye.